Hi, my name is Ivan Pendergast. I'm with the Trinity University Environmental Health and Safety Department. This training video will present the Trinity University golf cart policy, as well as some general safety tips and golf cart maintenance concerns that you should be aware of. The information provided in this policy is done so only as our interpretation of the policy. Should you have any questions beyond the scope of this training video, the actual policy should be referred to and any questions can be directed to risk management or TUPD. All carts operated on the university property and all university students, faculty, staff, vendors, independent contractors, as well as campus visitors are governed by this program. Cart drivers must be authorized drivers. Upon authorized driver approval from risk management, student cart drivers must undergo online cart safety training assigned by the Environmental Health and Safety Department. Cart operators shall abide by Trinity University drug-free workplace and alcohol policies and never operate a cart under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Each cart should be assigned a number by facility services. This number should be clearly displayed on every university cart on campus via numbers assigned by facilities services. Students with temporary mobility issues may request temporary use of privately owned or rented carts through the Disability Services Office. All golf carts are prohibited from entering the cart-free zone. A map indicating the cart-free zone has been attached to the golf cart policy. Don't be surprised if Trinity Police Department is in these areas with their golf cart, as they will still continue to access these areas for safety patrols. Cart operators must abide by all applicable laws and ordinances. The use of the carts in public roads is prohibited unless authorized by state and local authorities. As carts are not considered licensed vehicles for street use, they are prohibited from driving on public roads. Only neighborhood electric vehicles are permitted on the public roads and streets and must be registered as such. The ignition key shall be removed when leaving the cart. All carts left outside overnight are to be cable locked. Carts shall be parked in such a manner that they do not block or interfere with normal pedestrian or vehicular traffic flow on roadways, ramps, or sidewalks. Carts will not be parked in fire lanes, handicapped parking spaces without a proper permit, or in any manner that will block the normal flow of pedestrian traffic or building entrance and exits, or in sidewalks or ramps that would impede pedestrian or handicap accessibility. Carts are to be recharged only at the designated recharging areas that have been surveyed by facility services for electrical load sufficiency. The use of extension cords from inside buildings to carts is prohibited. Facility Services is responsible for the maintenance, oversight, storage, and issuance of all keys of university carts. However, individual cart operators are responsible for inspecting carts prior to each use. A pre-trip inspection of brakes, steering, horn, backup alarm, tire inflation, and batteries 
shall be conducted. Inoperable equipment identified must be repaired before operating the cart. Equipment problems or any other cart related problems shall be reported to facility services via a service request. Carts shall be operated with the utmost courtesy, care and consideration for the safety and convenience of other vehicles and pedestrians. In congested pedestrian areas, operators must either park or reduce speed in a pace consistent with pedestrians. Pedestrians shall be afforded the right of way at all times. This includes persons walking, jogging, bicycling, and those in wheelchairs or mobility assistance devices. All occupants in the cart shall keep hands, arms, legs, and feet within the confines of the cart while the cart is moving. The maximum speed shall not exceed 15 miles per hour. Carts shall not be modified in any manner that affects the recommended mode of operation, speed, or safety of the vehicle. Do not exceed the passenger limit, seating designation, or load capacity as designed by the cart's manufacturer. While driving through parking lots, special care should be taken to observe traffic and vehicles pulling in and out of parking spaces. Cart operators should not wear headphones, use cell phones, or operate any other device while driving that may cause a distraction, including text messaging. Drivers of carts that are not equipped with turn indicators shall use appropriate hand signals. Items being transported must be placed in the rear and properly secured. Neither cargo nor passengers shall be placed on the roof of the cart. Any and all accidents involving carts should immediately be reported to TUPD at extension 7070.